Hi, Matt Deegan here, and in today's speedy session, I'll be taking you through importing audio into Ableton Live 10. So firstly, if you have uh, an audio sample on your desktop or in a folder, you can simply click and drag onto an audio channel and it will load that for you. If you click and drag onto a MIDI channel, it will convert the MIDI channel and then it will load the audio clip for you. If you click and drag onto an empty space, so this is going to create a channel for you, so it's created an audio channel and it's loaded the file for you. And then lastly, if you were to click and drag on a MIDI channel that's already got a software instrument or some MIDI information in, it's going to ask you if you want to convert. So it's asking if you want to convert from a harmonic, melodic or rhythmic point of view. Uh, and just to let you know that doesn't work in the intro version, that's just in the standard and sweet versions. If you have multiple audio clips, you can click and drag both of them at the same time. And you can basically do exactly the same thing as we've just gone through with a single audio clip. It will put them on the same channel initially. If you press Command, it will load them in separate audio channels. So all of this works exactly the same if we go from Session View to Arrangement View. So here we've got multiple audio clips again. If I press Command, it's going to load them into separate channels. If we navigate to the Content Browser, and here we've got some samples, I can do exactly the same thing. I can click and drag into any of the places I had before. So here we go. I can navigate here. This is where I want it. Or maybe I want to put this one in here and it's going to create a channel and load the sample for me. If I were to put it on top of something, it's going to write over that one. So the other one's going to disappear. So just be aware of that. The same would happen if you were in the arrangement view. So here we are in our samples. And if we drag that and we pop it on top, it's going to cut that sample that you had and it's placed the new sample in the middle of it. So kind of be aware of that and make sure that you're putting your sample exactly where you want it. So here we've got snap on. So the snap will mean that the sample can snap to the edge. OK, if I do command and four, we can take snap off and then we can move it without snap. So we can put it wherever we want to. If you have a dedicated sample folder somewhere, so that might be on your computer somewhere, or that could be on an external drive, you can map it in the content browser. You go to add folder, which is just down here, and then you can navigate wherever that is. So mine is in my music production, and I've got my samples. So I'm not going to add it again because I already have it. Depending on how big your sample library is, it may take some time to find the files. Okay, So mine is quite big. Um, but I've already mapped it before. It's going to index everything for you. So you'd use exactly the same process. So you can click and drag the file wherever you want it to be. When you add files to Ableton, it will create an analysis file. So here's the analysis files for the two samples that I was showing you earlier. So if you go to get info, you can see that it's a, a .asd file. Um, and it's only 16 kilobytes. It's basically analyzed the information so it can work within Ableton. As a general rule, Ableton supports WAV and AAFF file types. That's 8, 16, 24, and 32 bit with a sample frequency of up to 192 kilohertz. Other formats can be supported but need to be converted by Ableton, and there are some formats that can't be used in Ableton. You can read more in the details at a link in the description. Otherwise, just try dragging it in and see if Ableton will accept it. There are online file converters you can use to solve the problem, so just do a web search and see what you can find. Just of note, the analysis files will be created in the same location as the sample itself. OK, so that's it for this speedy session. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Remember to like and subscribe for weekly Ableton tips. Mm -hmm.